one of just 17 mega diverse countries. India is home to a vast variety of wildlife. In fact, it is considered to be one of the most biodiverse regions in the world. Here, we have a wealth of captivating megafauna, from the endangered Asian elephant to the greater one-horned rhinoceros, 80% of whose population resides in India. India has four of the seven big cats, the Bengal tiger, Indian leopard, Asiatic lion and snow leopard are all native to the country. From the largest species of wild cattle, the gore, to a uniquely snouted species of crocodile, the gharial, there is no doubt that India's rich biodiversity must be conserved. But conservation presents a host of challenges. With an ever-growing population, currently numbered at 1.3 billion people and growing, India's natural habitats are rapidly diminishing, becoming more fragmented and being replaced by urban developments, farmland, drilling and mining. Our jungles and forests are being overexploited for their resources. India's wildlife is increasingly in conflict with local communities, many of whom view wildlife as dangerous. If these problems sound familiar, it's because they're not unique to India. Southern Africa has a varied terrain, ranging from forests to deserts, from woodlands to grasslands. These regions contain vast numbers of wildlife. Here, you can find the largest population of African elephants and white and black rhinos in the world. Southern Africa is home to numerous wildlife species similar to those in India. For example, the African painted dog, African leopard, African white-backed vulture, Nile crocodile, and African lion among many, many others. We also share some of the same species, such as the critically endangered hawksbill turtle, which is found in both regions. Once again, the conservation of these magnificent species is hindered by threats, such as habitat loss and fragmentation, the illegal wildlife trade, and huge population growth. Both continents also face cultural threats to wildlife. In India, the Nilgiri langur is poached for the believed aphrodisiac qualities in its meat, driving it into the vulnerable species category. In Southern Africa, healers use vulture brains as traditional belief medicine. They believe that eating them gives one the ability to see into the future. These archaic beliefs threaten the very survival of the species. According to the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species, 7% of India's species are endangered or critically endangered. This is remarkably similar to South Africa's 6.5%. The Wildlife Act Fund is dedicated to the conservation of endangered species within Southern Africa. The fund focuses on three key areas, wildlife monitoring, anti-poaching and community outreach. This is made possible through a team of experienced conservationists. What you learn through these online courses is practical conservation, the latest tools and techniques used in conservation today. Conservation is an evolving field with a complex set of problems. But if we share the same problems, we must begin to share our solutions too.